Okay, here's day one, number 17. The sine of 4x equals radical 2 over 2, where x is between 0 and 2 pi, which means I need all the answers one time around the circle. So remember from class I said when you're solving an equation that has trig in it, you solve for the block, you solve for the angle, and then you solve for the variable. Well, in, there, in your case here, this is the block, and so it's already solved for the block. So let me rewrite it down here. The sine of 4x equals radical 2 over 2. So the next thing is to solve for the angle. This is the angle, which if there's more than just an x there, we're going to put a cloud in there. So we're going to solve for the cloud. So we have to say the sine of what is radical 2 over 2. So if I look at my unit circle, sine is the y-coordinate. And when it's radical 2 over 2, we're at pi over 4. And we're at 3 pi over 4 because the y-coordinates of those two places are radical 2 over 2. So that means my cloud must equal pi over 4, or I'm going to write it down here, the cloud must equal 3 pi over 4. Okay, the problem is I'm going to need more than just pi over 4 and 3 pi over 4 because of this number. We need to check and see if there are more answers, and you'll kind of see that as I get going here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that pi over 4, and I'm going to add 2 pi to it. So in essence, what that means is if I start here and go all the way around the circle and end at pi over 4, that would be the same as 2 pi added to the pi over 4. Well, 2 pi can't be added unless I get a common denominator, so I would write pi over 4 plus 8 pi over 4, because what I've done is I've multiplied by 4 over 4 to get a common denominator, so that's where that 8 pi over 4 comes from. Okay, that equals 9 pi over 4, so I'm going to write that down here, 9 pi over 4. I'm going to repeat the process and take 9 pi over 4 and add a rotation. And that gives me 17 pi over 4. So I'll write that one down. Do it again. 17 pi over 4 plus another rotation is 25 pi over 4. So I'll write that down. And let's do one more. 25 pi over 4 plus 8 pi over 4 is 33 pi over 4. And I could keep going indefinitely, but we'll stop there. Okay, so that takes care of all of the angles that are coterminal with this. So here's pi over 4. Come around the circle. That's 9 pi over 4. Around the circle again, it's a 17 pi over 4, 25 pi over 4, 33 pi over 4, and so forth. So now let's go and let's look at the 3 pi over 4 and do the same thing. So I'm going to erase this stuff and do the same thing with the 3 pi over 4. So I'm going to take 3 pi over 4 and I'm going to add one rotation. And I get 11 pi over 4. So I'll write that down. Then I'll take 11 pi over 4 and add another 8 pi over 4 and get 19 pi over 4. Uh, let's take 19 pi over 4, add another rotation, and that gives me 27 pi over 4. Take 27 pi over 4 and add one more rotation, and that gives me 35 pi over 4.
Okay, so those are all solutions. And now if I have something in the cloud, which in this case is a 4x. So what I need to do is I have solved for the block. I solve for the angle, which in our case is a cloud. Now I need to solve for the variable. So to solve for x, because there's a 4 times x, and here, let me just uh, erase the cloud now. Okay, so to solve, I'm going to need to multiply by 1 fourth all the way through. So 1 fourth all the way through. And I'm going to do it to the other equation as well. Okay, so let's see what we get. Um, obviously, the 4s cancel, and I get x equals, I'm going to get pi over 16, 9 pi over 16, 17 pi over 16, 25 pi over 16, 33 pi over 16, and so forth. Or x equals, let's move this up a little bit, it's going to equal 3 pi over 16, 11 pi over 16, 19 pi over 16, 27 pi over 16, and 35 pi over 16, and that will go on forever. So now, here's where we need to go back up, and we need to look at what our restriction was. My answer for x has got to be all the angles that are less than 2 pi. So let's go back over to our list and figure out what of those answers are going to be less than 2 pi. So when I think of 2 pi, um, I look at a fraction and say, and look to see if it's um, less than 2. So if I look at, like for example, if I look at 9 over 16, that's less than 2. 17 over 16, that's still less than 2. But look what happens here. 16 goes into 33 two times and a little bit more. So this guy is too big. So we need to stop right here. Then if I go to the other set, and I'm looking for the fraction to see when it finally is bigger, because this 16 goes in there one and then some change, but 16 goes in here twice and a little extra, so this guy is too big. So then I would cut it off here, which means my answer is this. And you need to include all of those answers. So in class, I told you that if this is a number bigger than 1, you're going to need extra answers. Mm, kind of a rough rule of thumb is if it's a 4, you're going to need 4 answers. I put the fifth one on there just to show you why that fifth one didn't work. Um, if this is division by a number, then you're, you're going to only need 1 or 2 answers. Okay, hope that helps.